Today we are back with another squad builder and we're doing one, a style we haven't done in a while, but it's one of your guys' favorites, I know it, it's Roll the Dice. And if you're unfamiliar with the series, we are building a squad based on the results from when we roll the dice. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. And today we're doing a callback to one I did last year. I'm updating it with obviously this year's game in 2K, Roll the Dice of Decades. Now it's really simple, we're gonna have one die it's not plural one just die not dice and starting at one we're gonna go up from decades from 1940 to 1990 and whichever one we land on we have to pick a player that was born in that era so for the 1940s example i think like kareem abdul jabbar was born then and in the 90s like lonzo ball for example or me or probably a lot of you guys watching this and it's simple as that we're gonna roll for each position so that means 10 rolls in total i'll build the lineup after and i'll be using this reddit page which is the best player born in each birth year so it gives us like nine or ten options to use it's just easier than trying to find like a whole list of every you guys understand it's simpler this way now let's get it going here is our one die like i said start from one till six we roll it it happens quickly so keep your eye on it as we start off point guard starting lineup a four 40s 50s 60s 70s that's 70s a player born in the 70s so somebody who recently retired and look who is right there 71 there's a lot of good options nash iverson jason kidd but i'm going pen hard way it's been a while since i used my boy penny and you guys can get the gist of how it's going now so let's go shooting guard second spin starting shooting guard six that's a newborn player i'm thinking devin booker right off the hop but let's take a look and we could take like an andrew wiggins uh kyrie he's a point guard paul george where's my boy devin booker i guess he's not better than anthony davis my voice just went really high there um i'm gonna take d book born in the 90s we all know that i doubt i'll be able to afford the diamond devin booker but there's tons of good cards of his version as we go back to the 90s with a small form Forward. All right, all these young boys, when are we going to get the old timers? We'll have to wait and see. And I'm going to scoop up. Do I want Kawhi or Paul George? Do I want Kawhi or Paul? I'm going to go with Paul George. Because Kawhi's been injured all year. I'm pretty sure there's only a Sapphire. So yeah, if only I had that diamond reward, uh, collection reward for Paul George, that would be slick as we're back to number four. So power forward, we need a 1970s born player. Well, that's just great. Where are all the old players? I I want one. Do it look like I can. 1970s we could use Shaq that would be a little bit cheesy uh Tim Duncan is on this list what about like Dirk must be in here somewhere you know what no we'll, we'll go with Tim Duncan and finally rounding out our starting lineup center I'd be fine with rolling another four here I really would I would take a Shaq as <laughs> there goes a one we're going back to the 1940s and yes indeed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar look at all those big man artists Gilmore Cowens Wes Unseld if, I, if only I had the diamond version of West, but I will take some version of Kareem. That's a good starting lineup. All right, bench squad starting at point guard. We'll do five spins once again, as you all know, as we get another four. Are you kidding me, man? I'm gonna take my boy, Steve Nash. I don't even need to check the list. I know he was born in the 70s. 12 seconds later. Actually, scratch that. I'm taking Jason Kidd because there's a better Ruby version of him than Steve Nash. So what is with all these four spins like we're not living it's not that 70s show today uh as there we go a three all right 60s back one more era and shooting guard from the 60s oh my goodness michael jordan i mean okay and you know what if i cheap out there's also a ruby version i think i could buy so don't hate on me all right here we go back up small forward only a few more spins left as a five that's our first five lebron lebron james lebron james uh should i use him i could also use Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant or LeBron, which one? We'll probably only afford the Ruby one either way, but you know I gotta go LeBron. Our bench low-key gonna look better than our starters. This is crazy as backup power forward, back to the newbies, born in the 90s. And I'll take an Anthony Davis. And thank you very much. That uh, diamond one selling for 300K, probably not, but Anthony Davis. And final roll, here we go, backup center. I would take whatever one Shaq falls into. What, what was that again, four? I think that was a four, no, okay. six. All right, Carl Anthony Towns. I know off the top of my head, let me go make this lineup. And here is the lineup we have built. It looking pretty spick and span, this roll of the dice of decades. As you can see, I went all in showing Devin Booker some love with the diamond card, MJ with the amethyst. Other than that, I kind of had to budget my MT. That's why I only got these ruby cards, you know, uh, Emerald Tim Duncan, but I don't think it matters. We got Penny. We got D-Book. We got the GOAT. 
You don't know if I'm talking about LeBron or MJ, do you? You know what? We're going to win this game. Roll the dice of decades. Let's get into it. All right, let's go. We got matched up. Uh, looks like this man's got a budget team. Basically, all Ruby, some of the cheaper cards. So, no prisoners, sir. When my team is occasionally better than the opponents, we got to go to work. Let's go turnover. That's... What am I doing? Why would I do that? I haven't used Penny Hardaway in so long, but I'm pretty sure he's still, like, godly OP. So, this is going to be fun. Oh, does he have Ben Simmons? Yeah, he's got Ben Simmons at point. Uh, sir, you can't... You can't defend. No way. Paul George. <laughs> you don't leave Paul... Oh, Paul missed. Oh, my gosh. D-book. Back out to Penny. Oh, it's lagging. I shouldn't have shot that. My... Okay, that went in. You know what? I shouldn't have missed that Paul George shot, so I'll take it. And we get the steal. My word. Ben Simmons... He is not the answer at point guard, boys. In case you were thinking, you know what? I could beat Jay using Ben Simmons at point guard. That is really not the answer. One more to the corner. Devin Booker. Good luck. And we're making it. Okay, this team is looking nice through two possessions. Expose him! Expose him! Oh, Penny. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I forgot how OP. No, I didn't forget. I just, it's nice to use him again. All right, this is high key embarrassing. I'm down five. I should be up by like 20. I'm not even kidding. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. See, look at that off ball. It's just so effective for some reason. Let's go, Kareem. Uh, just go dunk on him, Kareem, or do a layup over him. That was anticlimactic, but it worked. I needed the two points. I am high key right on the verge of blowing this man out. Just don't even worry about the fact that I'm only up two. Uh, look at this. Yeah, now we're starting to play defense right there. And look at this. We got MJ in here behind the back. Oh my gosh, what a move. Uh, I was hoping that'd be more smooth, but we got the two points. It's all that matters. Look, no, why do you keep trying that? He keeps trying to beat me down court with that lead pass because it often works in this game. I'm not going to lie. Can MJ shoot a three? I kind of doubt it. Oh my gosh, he's jumping at me with everybody. <laughs> Come on. I didn't even get an open shot out of that. Who is trash now? It's me. Let's go MJ to the rim ski. Uh, and one. Oh my goodness, Mike. Let me check if he can shoot threes though. I got to know. And he 79. He can. Wow. That is good to know. I need this man for spin to win. He's OP. Who would have thought? The GOAT being OP. No team with Isaiah Thomas should beat me right now. What are you pulling up for? Th oh my goodness. Did y'all just see a pull up moving shot three? Oh, and he just... Okay. You know what? I am just sure... Thank you for going back court. 2K. I'm better than this man. Just accept it. Don't equalize it. I really just want to go with Michael Jordan. Like, I really just want to play with him. Look at this. To the rim. He draws free... His draw foul must be like a million. <laughs> like every time he goes to the rim. I am really just befuddled. Yeah, that's the word of the day today. I'm befuddled at the fact that I'm not blowing this man out. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Let me just keep the bench in here and blow this man out. Oh, okay, that was a really good steal. He read that pass from a mile away, uh, but he took a bad shot. Like, you could have made up for it there. I was just about to say, let me keep the bench in. Let me lob on no! him and... What? From Michael Jordan? In what world are we living here, 2K? Please, in no, oh, he no. Okay, you know what? You know what? What What the heck are you talking about? I mean, I guess this game is not a blowout. I really thought it was going to be. I really thought I was going to make this man rage quit at some point. But you know what, 2K? Keeping him in it. I'm not playing good enough. Woohoo! AD just blew that man over. Like, he just bowled him right over. All right. And where's Michael? Come on, Michael. Come on, Michael. Ooh, LeBron could have cut back door. Michael Jordan to the rim inside Towns. Dunk it. That is perfect offense. It's all I wanted, man. All right, boys. I knew it. I knew it was just a matter of time. If I turned the face cam off, focused in, we are now up 16. Like, I was wondering why I wasn't up by a larger margin earlier, but we are now. Shout out to this man, though. He is just not quitting. He's sticking in it. And you know what? I'm okay with that because I'm really enjoying using this MJ and some of these other cards. Like, okay, Jason Kidd, maybe not you, but this Michael Jordan literally backpacking my team like he is so good you can't stop him going to the rim if you try it's a foul and also if you try you just get dunked on like whoever just did there it's crazy he's good this score i promise you'd be a lot higher too if 2k wasn't letting him hit like contested slash pull up threes right in my face like it is crazy there see he's made a few of those not that i'm complaining because obviously i'm up but uh it's just something i've noticed carl anthony towns on the lob and you know what it's always nice to win a game especially you know blow somebody out this man's team isn't terrible it's mostly ruby but uh that's no excuse man you should have still been in this with me lebron dang it i've missed a lot of threes i don't have the greatest shooters but still we should get the bench back in here in a little bit i haven't taken one jumper with mj like that is the first one i've taken and he buries it i man i want to use this card more now here's the thing it might just be me i might just be trash 
yeah, that's that's very possible. But this D book card, he's just not been very good for me. I have not been making shots. And again, might all be my fault, but I, I don't know. I thought I was going to do some more damage with him, but I haven't really. You'll see the stats, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me been taking some interesting questionable shots it's like his shot release takes like a second longer than i always expect to actually get the shot off it's weird as i keep turning the ball over and he probably hits another three in my face yeah but i'm sure if i tried him out again i would be able to use him better it's just you know sometimes it's just a bad game with a good card let's go that's a pretty good look full white bar there we go all right maybe if i just stop being trash devin booker will be fire i like it man we got this game wrapped up and there we have it really good game for the team the roll the dice of decades lineup 60 percent from the field see i missed a lot of threes like usually i can hit at a higher percentage than that but it doesn't matter man we beat this man down and individually we were led by look at that michael jordan 21 on 7 of 8 shooting this card dude amethyst base d book see i told you like i was really struggling with this man not taking the greatest shots but for a 99 3 i don't know it, it just wasn't great for me penny as usual kareem putting in work did everybody score oh paul george and tim duncan now you know what that's okay they were just the role players But if you enjoyed the video, make sure, as always, you slap the thumbs up button. Haven't done a roll the dice in a while, but this one was sure enjoyable. And if you are new to the channel and you thought this video was above average at best, definitely don't forget to subscribe. And that is all I got for this one. Leave me any suggestions for videos you do want to see in the future. And I'm out till next time, guys. Stay golden.